Hey everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Uh, check our website at raywaldo.com for more information and more up-to-date information of this and other technology items. Today we're going to install the Kindle Fire Utility. This uh, utility, this tool, will allow us to root and uh, root the Kindle Fire and do a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, it's just a script file and it's downloadable. Get the uh, the download link from our website. And uh, so I've already downloaded it. And the first thing you want to do is download it and then extract the file and uh, rename it, the folder, to, uh, I prefer KFU, uh, just Kindle Fire Utility. And then move it to the root of your C drive. It'll make everything a lot simpler. Click on the uh, folder, and inside the folder you've got two batch files, uh, install drivers bat and run bat. So the first one you want to run is the install drivers bat file. Okay, and of course uh, this is Windows 7. Uh, it works pretty much the same on any other version of Windows as well. Uh, you certainly want to allow it to do its thing, so to say yes. Welcome to the Kindle Fire driver installer, and we cut next. And it's going to install and says, oh, wait a minute, we don't want to install that. Windows doesn't want to install it. We don't recognize it. Well, I do, so uh, I'm going to install this driver software anyway. And it takes just a moment and it installs. Okay. And it says uh, the green check, Google uh, ready to use. We click finish. Then we run the run bat file. Okay, so uh, that file, and of course we get another, are you uh, sure you want to run this? And we say yes. And it starts to, by opening up a, uh, a command prompt and starts running. And there it is. And it says, uh, let me move in a little bit here so you can see where we are. It says that the Kindle Fire is offline, and that's a pretty good estimate because that's correct. It is not all online. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect my Kindle Fire with USB cord, and uh, okay, it's connected, and we get Windows gets its little thing, and it's trying to install software down here. Let's see what happens. Alright, it says your device is ready to use. We go back up here to the terminal and uh, click in the terminal so you're there. And then you have options. It's uh, your use your keyboard now. And the first thing we want to do is zero to recheck the device status. We do a zero and it says the device is online and the boot status is 4000. Now that's all you need to know for right now. Uh, the Kindle Fire utility is up and running. And that's what this is all about. So again, check RayWaldo.com for more information, more up-to-date information if changes take place. All right, see you next time. Bye.